Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create this nice looking hexagonal pattern inside Microsoft Word using Visual Basic for applications. So let's get started. Yesterday we've shown how to create or how to draw a new hexagon using the macros. So let's summarize this a little bit. So if I open the macros pane and I create a new macro which I will call hex pattern, I can draw a new hexagon by typing in active document dot shapes dot add shape and the shape is mso shape hexagon and for now let's say we want this to be on position zero zero with 100 height 100 close the bracket select if i earn this macro i should get a nice looking hexagon which is obviously not the regular hexagon so we need to set the right size i will say set new variables as hex width as double and also hex height as double and i will say that the hex width may be for example 100 and i have to find out what will be the hex height and that's the some part of the width we don't have to remember the exact number we can open the hexagon calculator and if i enter the vertex of vertex to be 100 I can see that the height, the side to side is 86.6025. So I can copy this into our macro and I can say that the hex height is based on the hex width times this number. And because this is a percentage, I have to divide it by 100. So it's 0 0.86, whatever. So then I can say that the new shape will have the width of hex width and the height of hex height. If I run this again, the size is right, but the hexagon is not the regular one because the top side is a little bit longer than the other sides. And that's because this small yellow dot it's more to, is more to the left. It should be exactly in the middle in between those white dots, but it's, it's a little bit to the left. So it has to be just a little bit to the right. We have to set the exact value, which we have did find out in, in my previous tutorial. If you want to know all the details, just go, please check it out. But all we can say now is with this new shape, I have to, change this yellow dot and this yellow dot is called adjustments and we only have one in this case and that should be set to number 0 0.58001 divided by 2 i will say end with and if i run this macro again i should get a nice looking hexagon which is now a regular one all the sides has the same length so once we know how to draw hexagon we can create a small loop which will give us more hexagons so i will create a new variable call it columns as long and i will say that i want for example 10 columns then i will create a loop so i will say for counter columns going from zero to two columns minus one i will say next counter columns and in between i will draw those hexagons and I have to somehow use the counter columns for the exposition. So I will say counter columns times the hex width. If I run this, I should get 10 different hexagons. But of course, the size is set to 100, so it's going outside of the page. So I have to update the hex width to somehow account for the number of columns and the page width. So I will say active document. Sorry, document dot page setup that page width divided by columns again i will run this macro and i have 10 different hexagons filling the width of the page that's nice but we want some spacing in between the hexagons just so we can for every other row we can place hexagon like this so we have to find out the amount of space we need between in between the polygons so if i zoom in we can quickly try to find out what will be the distance so let's let's say that we will keep the spacing in between the hexagons to be the page width divided by some number so this will be the spacing between the hexagons but the actual hexagon size should be a little bit smaller and we know that this is the side length this is l and from my previous tutorial we also know that the, this is the l as well and this is the half of the l and half of the l which means that the width of the of the hexagon is actually two times the l and the spacing should be just the L. So we can take this spacing between each hexagon divided by three. So we have three lengths and multiplied by two. So let's 
delete all those drawing and see if that works. I will create a new variable which I will call maybe hex x spacing as double and I will use the previous calculation to set the x hex x spacing. So hex x spacing is active document page setup page width divided by number of columns and for the actual hex hexagonal width I will use the same but I will divide it by 3 and multiply it by 2. So if I run this macro again, nothing happens, but that's just because I'm not using this X spacing at all. So I should use this hex X spacing for the X position. So it will be counter columns multiplied by hex X spacing. So if I run it again, I will get this nice, nice uh, gap in between the hexagons. Once I start adding the rows, those hexagons should fit in perfectly. So let's start with adding the rows. I will create a new variable which will be rows as long and for now I will just say that the rows maybe for example just two. Then I will update this loop so I will say for counter rows going from zero to rows minus one I will do all that stuff and then I will say next counter rows and I have to somehow of course use this counter rows and that will be used for the y position which is currently zero so it will be counter rows times the x height if i run this i get two rows but this should be shouldn't be below the first one it should be offset only by the half of the height so i will say that the counter row the y position is counter rows times x height divided by two again i'll run it again and the only missing piece is that we have to for every other row we have to offset it by a certain value again we can quickly find out what's the value so the position which we want is around i will quickly draw it so the position which we want is around here and we know that this is the length this is the half of the length and this is also the sorry this is also the half of the length this is the width of the hexagon so if we divide by 4 and multiply it by 3 we should get the value of the x offset for every other row so i'll jump back to the macro and i have to create a new if statement so if counter rows modulus 2 equals 0 so then i will do something then i will set the new variable hex x offset to be for example 0 else i have to set the x x offset to be the hex width divided by 4 sorry divided by 4 multiplied by 3 and if i will somehow format it better and this should be then okay so i will look for the counter rows value and if it's add it will get some value if it's even it will get other value and the other value is hex width divided by 4 multiplied by 3 so all i have to do is use this hex x offset for the exposition so for exposition i will simply add this to the current formula so if i run this again every other row should be offset by the right value now i can increase the number of rows to maybe i don't know maybe four or five which will give us a bigger pattern and we can start playing with the actual visual appearance of this pattern so we can say that for example the fill could have some random color so four color object in color equals to some random value times five plus four if you are not quite sure what those numbers mean just please go my, watch my other video about the team colors sorry this should be plus four and we can say that the line color could be maybe white so i'll say the rgb color equals to rgb 255 for all the red green and blue and we can also say that line width actually weight maybe a little bit bolder maybe free so if i run this again i will get a nice looking hexagonal pattern where the outline looks like a transparent one just because the color is the same as a page background color and we can of course change the team colors to something more pleasing to the eye like the blue one and that's it for today thanks for watching